Welcome to Need Code, System Design Fundamentals. Today we are going to talk about the Publish Subscribe Pattern. First, what is the Publish Subscribe Pattern? Let's get started by an easy to understand definition. The Publish Subscribe Pattern, aka PubSub, is a communication pattern where Publishers send messages to a centralized topic and Subscribers receive these messages without knowing the identity of the sender. Likewise, the publishers do not know who are the subscribers. They only need to agree on the kind of messages being sent. Okay. PubSub seems cool, but why do we need it? In the simplest terms, the PubSub pattern is a way for parts of your computer system to chat with each other without needing to know exactly who they're chatting with. Imagine you're at a big party with lots of different conversations happening at once. It would be chaotic if everyone had to stop and figure out exactly who should listen to their stories or jokes. Instead, they just start talking, and whoever is interested will listen and react. The pub sub pattern is like this party. The publishers have important info to share, like, hey, a user just uploaded a new photo. Or, oops, there was an error processing this order. Publishers don't have time to figure out exactly who needs this information. They just publish it. On the other hand, the subscribers will then hear the message and take actions accordingly. This pattern is helpful because it allows for flexible real-time communication in your system. Especially useful in larger, complex systems where different parts need to work together closely. Let's go over some real-life pub sub applications. We first consider a social media platform. On the left, there are news providers send out news feeds, which can be attached by a hashtag, say the US election. There are followers that follow that particular hashtag. Note that the followers receive news feeds from all the news providers related to that hashtag. In this example, the pub sub senders are the news providers. The pub sub messages are the news feeds. The pub sub topic is a particular hashtag. The subscribers are the hashtag followers. Let's look at another application. Imagine you have an application that generates lots of logs. And you need to process these logs in real time. Let's look at how can we use PubSub here. The publishers are systems generating the logs. Each log event is published in real time. A topic is a category you assign to a specific type of log message. One way to classify the logs is based on its severity level. For example, we can label the logs by error warning or info. We could have different services subscribe to these events. For example, one might be monitoring for errors to trigger alerts. Another could be aggregating logs for analytics. Let's look more pub sub applications. Stock market updates, chat systems, IoT systems and microservices architecture. In a stock market system, we can broadcast price updates to interested clients in real time. Interested clients can subscribe and receive the update instantly. In a chat room or group chat, when a user sends a message that's a published event, other users in the chat room would be subscribers who received the message. Imagine a system of smart home devices. A temperature sensor could publish an event whenever the temperature crosses a certain threshold. Then the AC system subscribed to these events could be triggered to switch on or off based on these updates. In complex systems with a microservices architecture, different services need to communicate in real time. Consider an e-commerce site with a pub sub pattern. The order service can publish an order placed event. Then the inventory and shipping services are subscribed and can react accordingly. Okay. Pub sub seems useful, but what are the pros and cons? Here is the overview. Let's first take a look at advantages. PubSub helps decouple or separate different components of a system. Publishers and subscribers don't need to know each other. Allows for independent development, testing, and scaling of each component. PubSub can make your system more scalable. You can add more publishers or subscribers without requiring changes to existing infrastructures. PubSub systems can deliver messages in real-time or near-real-time which can be vital for applications, require real-time notifications or updates. Pub subsystems allow for asynchronous processing. A publisher can publish a message without waiting for it to be processed by subscribers, allowing for more efficient processing and better system performance. Now let's look at disadvantages. 
depending on the specific pub subsystem used, guaranteeing that every message gets delivered to every subscriber can be challenging. This can be a critical issue for systems that require high reliability. Ensuring the correct order of messages can also be complex in a pub subsystem. If the order of messages is important to your system, you need to implement additional measures to guarantee this. Due to the decoupled nature of the pub sub pattern, debugging and monitoring can be challenging. Tracing a process through the system can be more difficult compared to more traditional synchronous systems. If not managed correctly, there could be a risk of overloading subscribers with too much data, especially if they are slower at processing messages than the rate at which publishers are sending them now. Let's look at some of the most popular pub subsystems available. Kafka is a distributed streaming platform used for building real-time data pipelines and streaming apps. It also provides strong durability guarantees and is widely used in big data scenarios. It is adopted by many large-scale data-intensive organizations like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Netflix. RabbitMQ is an open-source message broker. It supports multiple messaging protocols and offers robust routing capabilities. In addition to PubSub, it supports a variety of other messaging patterns. It is known for its flexibility and ease of use. Its adapters include Instagram, VMware, and Bloomberg. Redis, while primarily known as an in-memory data store, also provides PubSub capabilities. It's straightforward to use and is extremely fast making it a good choice for applications requiring high performance. Some of its adapters include GitHub, Stack Overflow, and Snapchat. Google Cloud Pub Sub is a scalable event ingestion service. It's fully managed, meaning you don't have to worry about setting up or maintaining your own servers. It can handle millions of messages per second. Spotify is one of many adapters. Amazon Simple Notification Service, SNS, is a fully managed pub sub messaging service from AWS. It's designed for the delivery of messages to subscribing endpoints and clients. It works great for both application to application and application to person communication. Airbnb, Coursera, and Lyft have adopted it. Apache Pulsar is a cloud native distributed messaging and streaming platform. It's highly scalable and offers low latency pub sub transportation. Also provides a compatibility layer with Apache Kafka. MQTT is a lightweight pub sub network protocol that facilitates machine to machine M2M2M communication. It is designed for connections with remote locations where a small code footprint is required or the network bandwidth is limited such as in the Internet of Things, IoTings, IO devices and applications. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of contents, don't forget to comment below. And I will see you around.